Education One back at you again with yet another video. Happy Friday, you guys. Okay, so today's video, I had actually planned to do a entirely different video for today, but um, I got a couple questions about um, my hair color and everything like that, and you know, if I if I had somebody else do it or if I did it or whatever like that. So I just kind of wanted to come in and answer those questions just really quick. Um, it's kind of been a really long day, you guys, I'm not even gonna lie, and, um, you know, I'm really tired, but I, I really wanted to come in and, um, do this video for you guys, because I did tell you guys that I was going to try, going to try and stick to my upload schedule of making a video, um, and, or releasing a video every Friday, so that's exactly what I wanted to do, and I thought this would be a really good time to, um, get into the whole hair situation or whatever. So, um, it's, I guess this would be kind of a story time, but not really. Um, just kind of want to give you a backstory on, um, me coloring my hair and, and things in general. Okay, so, um, I actually, uh, started, uh, coloring my hair when I was, uh, in my early 20s. I, I didn't go through that teenage phase where I wanted to have, colorful hair and all that stuff. I never had that um, uh, want or need to color my hair at that time. But as I got a little bit older and into my early 20s, I decided that I wanted something different. Um, my hair was, my natural hair is probably like a number four. Um, so, you know, I kind of wanted something different. I had that my whole life. Um, and my experience with like having a different color hair was me just getting a different color wig, you know, for the, for the longest time. So what I originally started doing, I did start trying out colors and things like that. Um, I originally did, uh, jet black, um, with, I, I've done jet black with a green tint and I've done jet black with a blue tint. And, um, I like them both, but again, that was kind of simple, kind of easy, and, um, all of that stuff. So, I kind of wanted to do something different. So, I, uh, then I started, uh, doing, like, blues and purples, and I really didn't, um, it really didn't show up a lot, because as I said, my hair, my natural hair color is a number, um, four, so, um, it showed up, but it wasn't, like, too, too crazy. Um, but I wanted, to, I'm more of, like, a bold person, so I wanted, like, uh, something bold and daring. So, that's what kind of led me to the red. Um, at the time, I was working in a, um, salon, and, um, uh, I was talking to one of my coworkers, and I was like, yeah, hey, I want to do something different. I kind of think I want to do, like, red or something like this. And this was about five years ago, you guys. Um, and I was like, yeah, I want to do something kind of bold or whatever. I think I want red. But we started out with something very simple. Um, and what we did was a color block of, like, number three, which is uh, kind of like a dark brown. So we did, like, a color block of black, uh, number three, I'm sorry, in the back. And then at the front she did red, but she separated the red with, um some black it wasn't too bold um so yeah so as time went on like I think I let her do my hair probably two maybe one or two times and then after that I just started you know doing my own hair at home um so of course I did have to uh bleach my hair out um and what they what she originally used was this which is the BW2 by Clairol um bleach powder mm -hmm. Um, so that's what she used in the salon to do my hair, and I decided that, you know, I could just do it at home because, of course, I've done my own hair before, so, um, and why not, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, so I bought my own, um, bleach, and I've been buying the BW2 bleach. Um, I've tried others, but I like this one, um, and usually I use the Clairol Professional, as you can see, I, I mean, I don't bleach my hair a lot, but I do bleach it. Um, and this is Clairol Professional, Clairol Professional, sorry, Soy 4 Complex, um, Pure White Cream Developer. So I use that, um, and I kind of mix those together, but since my hair is already bleached out, which I, what I normally do is I'll bleach just closer 
what is oh I'm sorry I had wax in my hair you can see that but anyway I bleach a little bit closer to my scalp but I still like my hair to have dark roots um so I do that and if you're wondering about this style um it's just a roller set I'm actually thinking about doing or I think next week I'm going to do a roller set video so you guys can see how I roller set my hair it's nothing special but it, it's just what works for me um, so I, I'm thinking about next week is going to be that video. Anyway, so um, I do that. I still color block my hair black. I hope you guys can see it. So now instead of a number three, I usually use jet black in the back. And then, um, so what I do, I'm sorry, I'm tripping all over myself. Um, but anyway, what I do is I part my hair from ear to ear. And all of the front I do red and all of the back I do black. So that's, I mean, what I've been kind of doing for the last, like, few years. Um, I, I like it. I feel like it suits me. It suits my face. And, you know, and it suits my complexion and everything like that. So, yeah, this is basically what I do. But the, I've tried a lot of different uh, reds. And um, right now, one of my favorites that I'm using is the Sparks. It's long lasting bright hair color. So this is what I'm using now. There's two types of reds and I've used them both. There's the red hot and there's the red velvet. And I actually like them both. Um, to me, I really honestly don't, I can't really tell the, the differences. I know it's a slight difference to it, but um, because I use both of them and sometimes I mix them together, I can't really tell which one is the more prominent red I would say but I right now that's the red that I'm using so if you guys see this <laughs> and you probably will see a lot of this in my upcoming videos of like my natural hair and you know the color and everything this is probably going to be the color that you see because this is right now at the moment this is my favorite um red to use right now and it does last a really long time but again you got to be careful with um any, any colors really, you want to wash your hair with um, tepid water, which is like more cold than hot. Um, I wouldn't say freezing water because who wants to like shower in freezing water or who wants to like wash their hair in freezing water. But more tepid, well, uh, you know, cold with a, a little bit of warm in there and it helps your hair color not to bleed. Um... If you use warm, warmer water or hot water to wash your hair, it will strip your hair color. So, you know, you you kind of got to be careful with that. Um, so I usually wash my hair with like tepid water and my color lasts a really long time. Um, and what I do, when I, when I bleach my hair, um, I don't bleach it often at all. I actually um, touch up the red a lot more than I touch up the bleach, to be honest. Um... So what I'll do is I do something that's called a soap cap, which means that you would take in your, you know, little bowl or whatever, you would take, you know, it, it's usually one to one. So if you use one, um, one scoop of the powder, you're going to use one, you know, scoop of the developer. Um... So yeah, that's what you're going to do. So I usually use two scoops of the powder and two, you know, scoops of the liquid. And I mix those together and then I put a little bit of shampoo in that mixture. And usually what that does, and I, I'm not saying this, you know, as a professional or anything like that. I'm just telling you what I learned working at a salon and... Um, what I've learned in general and you know, just working with my my own hair and working with other people's hair sometimes um, Just what you know works or whatever my hair does not dry out a lot of people uh, if you use Bleach if your hair can't handle the bleach or you know the developer I use 20 um, You can use 10 but 10 doesn't lift as much um, 10 is used more for like depositing color um, 20 is used more for like bleach, uh, uh, to lift the bleach and, uh, 30, 40, things like that are used for like lifting. Um, so 20 is going to lift with bleach and then it's going to deposit whatever color. Um, so I, I usually use, um, 20 developer, but with the sparks, 
uh, hair color, you don't have to use any cream at all. As I was saying with the Sparks um, hair color, you don't have to use any developer with it. So that works for me. But as I said, I put a little bit of shampoo into the um, bleach mixture. And um, it tends to be a little bit less uh, harsh on my hair because I do have fine hair. So I don't want anything that's going to like completely strip my hair of the moisture that it does have. Um, so I try my best to put bleach, um, I'm sorry, put shampoo in the bleach mix mixture that I make and it seems to be a little bit less harsh on my hair and they call that a soap cap. Um, if you, if you've ever gone to a salon, they call that a soap cap. Um, but it still, you know, lifts your hair as you can see, you know, my red shows up really well because I, you know, that's what I do. But, um, I would say I probably, to be honest, like... I'll bleach my hair maybe twice a year, if that. Um, but I do, you know, when you know, reds fade a lot more than a lot of colors. So um, uh, I do touch up my red a lot faster than I do touch up the bleach. If you guys get what I'm saying. Um, but with this Sparks hair color, it kind of does last a little bit longer than um, some of the other reds that I've used in the past or so whatever like that. But yeah, so I hope that answered your question, your questions about like my hair color and what I do and all that stuff. Um, as I said, you guys, uh, I did plan on a uh, an entire different video for today. But when I saw that, I was like, let me just go ahead and mention um, or at least do a video and answer those questions that you guys had. Um, I hope you guys have a, a great weekend. Um, I will see you in the very next video. Until then, take care.